What is up creatives, this is Tom, welcome back to another video. It's been a little while since we've had this setup going on, let me know what you think. I normally go with my sort of like colour armour backdrop behind me, but I think this one is fun as well every now and again. Get me in front of sort of the desk and office setup behind me. Today I have a super exciting video for you, I am really really happy that finally I have completed the holy trinity of lenses, that being the Canon 16 to 35mm f2.8, the Canon 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 and the 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8. So it's these lenses behind me here and obviously the ones that I've gone for are Canon because as you guys know I use Canon uh, cameras but obviously the sort of holy trinity as a thing the sort of three lenses that pretty much any pro will recommend you to get. Um, you know you don't need to buy Canon obviously go for the uh, camera system which you are invested in and we're also going to talk about alternative brands as well which will make very similar lenses which have fantastic quality. So guys, why are we talking about the Holy Trinity in the first place? You'll hear this sort of term thrown around online. Basically what it is talking about is three lenses that pretty much cover off anything that you will want to shoot with your camera. Now, of course, there are exceptions. This isn't a totally blanket rule, but with these three lenses, you can pretty much tick off everything that you're gonna want to do from a photography or videography standpoint. If you make these lenses the first thing that you invest in when you purchase a new camera or you're starting to get more serious about photo, video, I now pretty much turn up to every client project with these lenses plus a one additional lens which I will talk about at the end of the video. But these lenses pretty much just stay on my camera uh, or a variation of the three for everything that I do. As a little bonus as well, Canon actually sell uh, a teleconverter, which is uh, super good and basically just gives you an additional two times reach on any of these lenses. Obviously, you wouldn't wanting to necessarily do that with the 16 to 35, but you can adapt the Canon 70 to 200, this beast of a lens here, and uh, this will give you an extra up to 400 millimeter zoom range on this camera like that is absolutely insane for like three lenses to get up to 400 mil shooting at f 2.8 that is really quite exceptional so guys basically that's the thinking behind the holy trinity what that basically means is this is what you should be aiming for as a set of lenses. Obviously that might change if you have very particular needs, maybe if you're into wildlife photography, you're gonna want some sort of extra reach telephoto lenses. But this as a whole for every uh, even amateur to pro photographer, this is just such a good choice for a lens set. These particular lenses that I have here, this is the 24 to 70 millimeter, bit of a beast of a lens, just uh, this sort of like an all rounder. These are all Canon L series glass. You can see the sort of zoom range from 24 to 70. Bit of a sort of a weird side note with this lens is it's sort of round the other way to what I would normally expect. Like that is the uh, 70 millimeter zoom range. And then you go out and the, cap the lens sort of extends from the barrel and that is 24 mil. Um, so yeah, I've, I've not used a lens where that's the zoom range before. Normally it's round the other way and you zoom out to zoom in. But uh, yeah, just a weird side note. But like I said, these are L series glass, meaning that the quality is absolutely exceptional on these pieces of equipment. Normally when you go for zoom range lenses, you'll get a lot of sort of comment from people saying that going for a prime that is a fixed focal length is a better option. But on the whole, after using these lenses, I can say that I've pretty much just had uh, an absolute breeze using all of this glass and it's exceptionally sharp. In fact, I recently did a food photography shoot and I used pretty much nothing except the 24 to 70 millimeter and the 70 to 200 millimeter, which is crazy for a food shoot, but it just worked with the setting. We're doing sort of cocktail uh, photography and that type of thing. That's just pretty crazy. And then another thing 
to mention with this set, particularly this sort of uh, Canon L series set, is that the uh, aperture is f2.8, meaning that you are going to be able to get a greater depth of field than uh, an alternative set which you can buy in f4, which won't allow you quite as good low light performance, and you're not going to be able to get quite as knife depth of field in the shots. However, we will discuss uh, this a little bit later, but the, you'll be able to pick up that set for quite a lot cheaper. All right guys, so which lenses do I use for what and sort of which ones would I recommend, I guess, first if you are looking into buying the Holy Trinity set? So I would by far and away recommend the 24 to 70 as your first lens purchase. If for instance, you're buying a, a, a Canon camera or just a camera in general, and you maybe are buying it body only and you don't have a, a lens with it, a 24 to 70 millimeter is almost like a one and done lens. Like you could pretty much do a full photo photo shoot uh, with this lens and nothing else. If I had to drop every single lens in my camera bag and pick up just one, it would be the 24 to 70. Then we come to the 16 to 35, a little bit more bespoke, uh, I guess, if, if you're wanting to do sort of landscapes, that 16 millimeter focal range on a full frame camera is an exceptional field of view, really, really wide with not much distortion. And then obviously we get the zoom right into 35 millimeter, overlaps a bit with the uh, 24 to 70, but that's absolutely fine. And you get just a little sort of a decent bit of reach on that lens. And then we go right up to the top to the uh, 7200 like I mentioned uh, and this is just like an unbelievable piece of glass if you're into photo and video and you have not shot with a telephoto lens before buy one rent one sort it out somehow like I absolutely love shooting with a telephoto personally I think it's an exercise which allows you to really flex your sort of creative muscles get uh, looks and feels of images that you just cannot get with other camera setups. A super, super fun lens uh, and pretty much just a staple in every professional photographer's bag. I do a lot of lifestyle shooting and this is a fantastic lens to do that with. You can sort of back up away uh, if you're doing events, that type of thing, or weddings. You will definitely find this lens in every wedding photographer's bag. Just a fantastic focal range. All right, so prices, and there is a reason that it's taken me quite a few years to actually get my hands on a full set of these uh, sort of holy trinity lenses, and that is because they are expensive. I actually don't have any of the third generation, the new uh, lenses here. I have the 70 to 200 is a second generation, the 16 to 35 is a second generation, and the 24 to 70 is actually a first generation lens. But that doesn't mean that they are bad choices. They are exceptional lenses. Personally, I actually feel like the 24 to 70 has a bit more character than the third generation, the newer version of that lens. Just because it's old doesn't necessarily mean that it is not good. Like I said, you could also go for the F4 versions. Go for the versions with not quite as good low light performance, but they are still going to be fantastic lenses, exceptionally sharp, and those sit still within the Canon L series. And then an additional option on top of that would be to use an external uh, lens manufacturer. So there are fantastic lens manufacturers like Sigma or Tamron who create lenses. Maybe they don't sit exactly within the sort of 70 to 200. I know that Tamron do a 75 to 180, I think it is. Uh, and that that is an exceptional lens. And then you could pick up a 24 to 70 as well. The Sigma art range is like a third of the price of this setup, but is widely talked about being just as comparable in terms of image quality. There are definitely options you can go with. And then finally, we come into my bonus lens, this sort of little lens, which in addition to this setup will complete your camera bag, in my opinion. This is the Canon 50mm f1.8. You sort of talk about this as an option for like a, uh, you know, a holy trinity of lens setups, making sure you have everything covered. I would thoroughly recommend you spend the sort of $100, $150 on a 50mm because you never know when you're going to be able to want sort of maximum shallow depth of field at f1.8. Uh, it's a very inexpensive little lens that can really just spice up your footage and your photos. I'd be super curious to know, actually, uh, leave a comment down below if you own this little nifty 50. Let's sort of see how many people watch these videos actually own this little lens. But yeah, guys, there we have it. These are the sort of holy trinity lenses 
the uh, 7200, the 1635 and the 2470. I really hope you have enjoyed this video uh, and maybe it's just opened your eyes to a lens set that maybe you either didn't totally know about. I'm just giving you an idea why you might want to invest in this set of lenses. If you do have any questions or comments, suggestions, that type of thing, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll be down there answering as always. And I'll catch you guys next time.